Hey everyone, so today I want to show you how to mine Graph. So Graph is one of the newer coin that's a universal payment blockchain that's based off the off of Ethereum. So first thing is first we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to make a wallet. So to do this we're gonna go on Google and search Graph Tool Offline Wallet. We're gonna click on this first uh, link here and it'll take you to the wallet creator. So we'll just move the mouse around while it goes all the way to 100%. Next, we're going to save them all as a PDF. So I need to say, there's going to be three different keys here. The public wallet that's going to be used for the mining pool, which you can show uh, to other people. Then these private spend and private view keys, do not show them to anybody. Uh, and make sure you save all of these three keys in the safe spot. And treat it like this account. It's, worth, it's going to be worth a million dollars one day. So I'm going to copy these three keys into Notepad quickly. I'm going to make sure to take away the spaces because when we go into the command line and copy and paste this into it, it doesn't like spaces. So after you copy these keys down and save them somewhere, we're going to head back on over to Google and search for Graph Wallet CLI Windows. And again, we're going to click on the first link here and then use Graph Windows CLI Wallet. So from there, we're going to download this link. And then once you extract all of the files, you're going to see get a whole bunch of files with this in them and the readme so we're going to open up the graph node and I will sync the blockchain so it looks something like this once it's done it'll say synchronize ok so once you have that we're going to come back here and open up sorry and go and type in the top here cmd and then type in graft dash wallet dash cli dot exe space dash dash generate dash from dash keys and the new wallet name you want to make so I'll use test and hit enter so from there, you're going to be, you're going to see standard address. So then we're going to come back to the Notepad file and copy down this first address link key that we saved earlier, and paste it in here like that. Press Enter. Secret spend key is the same as the private spend key. and paste that in again press enter sorry I needed to I didn't copy that well looks like I have to start it over again so I'm just pasting that address in there and then we're copy that key in. Copy. Edit. Paste. And then private view key. Copy come back over
paste it in. Now we're going to enter a new password. So I'm just going to use test for the password, test one for the password. And then hit OK. Then right now it's just syncing up your new wallet to the blockchain. So this should only take a couple minutes now because the blockchain is fairly small. But I'm going to pause the video while this syncs up. Okay, so it's all synced up. So as you can see, the balance is zero and all unlock balance is zero. So balance is the unlock balance is after it syncs up correctly. That's the balance you'll be able to use and transfer. So I'm going to exit out of here for now. So next step is to find a graph mining pool. Uh, I just want to Google and search graph uh, pool list and then you'll, we'll choose one here. The different uh, websites have different fees and hash rates and everything. So once we get that, we'll come on over and find the configuration file for the ports. So depending on your software, you will choose a different port. So for me, I chose, I'm using Claymore, so I will be using this setting here with port number 9000. And then we'll copy this information and paste it into our configuration file in Claymore. So as you can see, I'm using my wallet, which is different than when I showed you. Uh, my pool is the claim, uh, the this pool right here. Um, so the password, I know on this particular website, the password uh, is set for P here, but Claymore seems to like uh, XPSW for the password and username. So I've used that instead. So after we get this configuration file going, we can we can start mining. Now I'm not currently mining, but I have been mining for almost a day now with one RX 580. I managed to get about 17 or 18 graph. So my average hatch rate you can see here on this pool is 600 hashes per second. And it gets me about $7 based on uh, when the coin is uh, 30.03 30 cents. Uh, yeah, so if you guys have any comments, questions, I'd be more than glad to help you guys out. Thanks.